Benjamin Button is uh, based on a short story by F. Scott Fitzgerald, um, in which a man is born old and ages backwards. Um, fairly simple um, idea, rather more complex in execution. They did a version which was just five people um, in a very tiny space, and now we've got a version with 12 people in a slightly less small space. What Jethro has done is transplanted the idea from its American origins into his native Cornwall, um, set it in a sleepy fishing harbour, um, and it's, so it's become a sort of a magical reality folk tale. It's, it's a, a wonderful chance to just get back to kind of first principles of, of just storytelling through song and speech direct to the audience. Um, it's, it's not about massive production values and all the rest of that. It's just about the live experience of people in a room making music and harmony and, and telling stories. So we started out with, uh, with five wonderful performers, four actor musicians and one actor singer. And um, this version is, has been scaled up to 12, um, so slightly more than double, um, which means a lot more instruments to play with, a lot more voices to play with, um, a lot more fun to have and a lot more trouble to get into. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, there, there have been challenges as well as great joys. I think, you know, the fact of musically I've had to be more prepared on this show than I have on any of my other shows um, because there's not that same opportunity to just oh let's just sit in the room and see what happens there's not time for that um, with that many instruments and that many people people have to know what they're doing let's say they've had iterations and stuff so so luxuriously there was stuff to listen to um, which was terrific and it it reads incredibly easily it's it just it, 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 it gallops along but uh, I was listening to uh, some demos and I, I, uh, there are several spots which uh, in, in the score which, which got me but there was I think there's there's a particular moment in the second half um, where I was standing waiting for a train at Guildford Station <laughs> uh, on platform five going oh yeah, it got me um, uh, <laughs> I just buried myself in my newspaper for a moment um, which uh, I think was probably the the, the clincher for me it's, a, it's a, a sequence called the tide is coming in so there's there's a huge amount of stuff that we learned in that initial production where we saw it we were watching there in, in, in the audience and going like that's the moment where we should have done this but it's too late and like we can't ask the cast to change anything now that would be horrible so um so you know we took all those little notes we were making in our heads and me and jethro have worked with the help of atg productions which has been wonderful to have their support um rewriting for the last three years i think and in, in addition to that personally my life has changed substantially as well obviously there's been the pandemic but sort of beyond that like i have a family now um my partner jenny and her son Dylan and our little baby girl Frankie has has arrived in the in the meantime and so for me I definitely for, for the story of a, of a family man of a man Benjamin Button who is experiencing the you know the difficulties and the challenges of, of family life and the joys and the hopes and the absolute exhilaration of it all um, I have recognized moments that I've gone well, that, that's a moment that needs to be in there. You know, the connection between a father and, and their child. Um, what family really means. Um, what it can bring you and, and the support and hope and love that it does. A lot of that has informed um, certainly my work in it. There's something so divorced and distancing and ever so slightly desperate about trying to make connections th through a screen or a device or through... Um, very old, various sort of digital uh, alternatives, but they're all substitutes for just simply sharing air with other human beings and creating a, a messy, imperfect human uh, dynamic for a little while, and just uh, creating vibrations in the air with music together, making harmony together, just using our voices together. Um, there's something so simple 
about that. It's as simple as can be, but it's 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 a, it's profoundly missing from our lives. And so that there is something about coming back to do stuff like this, which which feels like a reconnection. And I've it's something I've said before that, that this story is simply told. It's it's not a complex, complicated story, but it's the last thing it is is easy to do, <laughs> um, and the the realization that Benjamin comes around to after finally after uh, coming around all of the acts of his life and finally comes back to the blindingly obvious, um, just about being present and keeping connections with the people around him who he loves, um, is incredibly simple. But it's incredibly difficult, um, much like this production. <laughs>